Welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're having a little bit of fun. I just went out and bought myself a Steel FS91. We're going to put it together, we're going to get it ready to go and try it out. Not only are we going to try the string portion of it, we're also, I bought a new blade for it too, so we can take down some heavy brush. And there's the blade we bought for it. I'm going to show you how to put these blades on. And then we're going to take it out in the driveway and try it out. I have a whole long driveway full of brush, small, small trees and shrubs and that sort of thing. We're going to hack down a whole bunch of it. But I'll just show you a little bit just to show you how good this works. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of steel products. I have two steel chainsaws. I have an FS38 lawn trimmer. And now we have the big trimmer here that we can put a blade on and actually take down some good size brush. I really like my steel products and uh, they never give me an issue. I like it. So we'll cut this off, see what's in this bag, and we'll get the business here putting this thing together and get it started up and going. All right, when you get your new steel trimmer, it comes in a certain way for packaging, so you have to undo the knob and move the handlebars into position for operation. So that's what I'm doing. I'm turning it here, getting it ready to where I would need it, and then I'm going to tighten up the knob, and the handlebars are where they need to be. As you can see on the left side, the handlebars has a throttle and kill switch. So now I'm taking the tape off the shoulder harness because I'm going to have to adjust that shoulder harness for my height, for my comfort. And what the shoulder harness does is it makes it makes the trimmer trimmer more balanced for you so it's easier to use. So now I'm going to start the trimmer. So we're going to pump the bulb three times and then we're going to choke the trimmer and now we're going to give it a pull and get it started. So you may have noticed I went around here and I got all the weeds out of the way but the string wouldn't cut down this and that's why I got that blade and we're going to put that on right now so we can cut down stuff like this and we're going to work up the driveway too. I'll show you how it works. Alright so now we're going to add the brush blade to the trimmer. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a screwdriver, you're going to need a Torx screwdriver. This is also a spark plug wrench and a wrench for just about anything else. You're going to need one of these to put into the head of the trimmer. I'll show you that in a second to help hold it, to help lock it. You're going to need this adapter cup. Now on the older ones, this washer here came separate. This is a new one and this uh, adapter washer is attached to it. You'll need your locking nut and you're going to need your blade. Now, you, as you can see, it has the teeth going one way. So when you put it up on the trimmer head, you want to put it up so that it goes counterclockwise along with the head, trimmer head. Because if you put it this way, when it turns, you'll be cutting against the back part of the tooth. You're not going to be cutting anything. So make sure, see how it's printed here? Make sure this goes up and it's got the arrow for rotation of your trimmer head. So right off the bat, we're going to go with this tool here. And we're going to put it in the hole here at the top of the trimmer head. And we're going to see how it locks. Now it may have been turned like this. And it doesn't lock, but you just hold it in place until it locks, just like that. And that's so we can take the spool off the trimmer head. So now that it's locked in place, we're just going to turn this. And you want to go clockwise because you're facing your trimmer head like this. That's clockwise because it has reverse threads. And that's just the way you have to turn it off. Okay, the head is off, 
And on this plate here, you'll see how this is sticks out a bit, this part here. That's because when you put your blade on, remember your blade has to go this way, it sticks up in there. You see that? And it stays in place. That's going to help keep your blade centered once this is all tightened up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take this cup in here, or this plate, put it on here. It's got the splines on it that go over these splines here of the drive shaft, I guess you would call it. Then you want to take your blade with the print on the upside. Don't forget that part. Put that in place. Because you want it to go in the right direction. Then you're going to take this adapter cup and put it on. And if you have the older model where it has these uh, this uh, washer here that's dished out, make sure you put the dished out part first. And it has the splines on it as well. This one's a bit better. You can just, it's a lot easier. It's all one piece. So you can hold that all together. And you can put your lock nut on. Remember that it's reverse thread. So you want to turn this on counterclockwise. Snug it up in place. Make sure that your blade stays centered. And we'll snug this up. We've got to make sure your blade is centered. There you go. Now you're going to torque this up really good. Make sure it's good and tight. And there we have it. Now make sure that your blade is centered because if it isn't, it'll vibrate. And you don't want to run it like that. It'll be annoying anyway. You'll know something's wrong. But if you run it, you're going to end up wearing out a bearing here in the trimmer head for sure. So make sure it's centered. Now it's ready to go. I'll tell you, I'm really enjoying this blade on this FS91. It's really cutting. And I have a really long driveway, and uh, I got a lot of work to do. It's closing in on me. Look, the bush is growing thick. Right here, I'm going to cut some really thick branches down. You see how good it works. Well, I'm pretty impressed with the still FS91. I, compared to that FS38, there's lots of power in this thing. And with this blade, wow. That blade really works good. Now I can see a person would really have to be careful, especially when you're working around here and there's a lot of rocks. You don't want to hit any rocks with this or you're gonna be sharpening this blade really quick. But you saw how easy it was to take the spool off of here and add this blade. It wasn't hard at all, it only took like five minutes. And I, I cut through a couple trees that were at least an inch and a half in diameter and this blade went through it like nothing. It was It worked really good. Well, I'm going to continue up the driveway. Thanks for watching the video about unboxing and, and my first use with this still FS91 and also adding the brush cutter blade to the FS91 and giving it a try. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next video.